And I got there kind of late, so I didn't get a chance to get a picture of the outside. But ah, who cares? Everyone drives by the place, and locals already know what the outside looks like. But you know, not everyone knows what the inside of it looks like. So I wanted to show you this one here. This is a uh, uh, Tifton Lodge uh, in southern Georgia, and it's a really nice lodge. And uh, I've got some really interesting things for you to see. You've just entered the coolest life. <laughs> You'll see these pictures on the wall. And these pictures are uh, their past masters, and they they try to have recent pictures. But as you can see, some of these are are really old, and some are actually still missing. Either they just never got a picture of them, or it got lost and may have gotten damaged through uh, leaks in the building or what have you. And, you know, because they'll they'll scatter them out around the room, and then as the line keeps get longer and longer, they'll start putting up trays on the wall and and start mounting them side by side. Like this is pretty typical here. Most lodges have this. Some, like this one here, is in the dining room. Uh, a lot of them are in the dining room. Some are actually in the lodge room itself. So this particular room is uh, what we call, this lodge may call it the preparation room. But uh, as you come into the meeting, you would sign in here. Uh, do your sign-in log. They put your sign-in log up here. But inside of here, if you were the sitting master, you would get your apron and your jewel. And they're all labeled to our office you're all both also which is neat for this particular lodge is they have two different lodges that meet at the same location obviously different light different nights but they put their aprons and stuff in this drawer so they don't share that they actually have their own which is pretty unusual and also just about every lodge has got something like this this is their uh, memorabilia uh, kind of part of their history some some are lots of coins and some might be old flags Sometimes there's things on the walls like uh, paintings and there's uh, murals or uh, of some past members. And as you can see in some of these photos, uh, the walls are really different, like the walls here behind my head. So this particular lodge is in Tifton. It's actually Tifton Lodge That's correct. in Georgia, which is, uh, if you don't know where that's at, it's in South Georgia. It sits near the uh, interstate, I-75. As you can see, uh, some of the differences you see here with some of the, the columns. And there's our senior warden's chair. A little more ornate. This would be where our chaplain would sit in this particular lodge. Let's not forget our columns. See, there's the columns again, and there's the uh, celestial globe and the, uh, the regular globe there. Of course, they would move those out if they did degree work. Uh, all lodges are, are a lot of different people use a lodge, maybe different orders. So that's why they would have a chair over here. Some will use that for their chaplain or just depends on what the order is. This, of course, is their holy altar. You see it pretty customary in Georgia. You've got your three burning tapers where your lights are on the sides. A lot of these uh, altars here will open up, as you can see right here. They've got a lock on it so they can open it up and store things. Like if they're going to use this altar for something else, they might put the put the Bibles down in there. Of course, the symbolism again I mentioned before. We've sometimes they put the uh, they'll put this column over here to the center. Others will be here to the side. This is a great example. One here to the side. And why is this column standing? And why is that column there? Right there. Why is that column laying down? There's a reason for that. You'd have to. Get involved in masonry to find out what's uh why why that's different. There's the old Georgia flag, and you have where your your master or your president of the lodge would sit right up here. Very beautiful lodge. They've got a large kitchen that's about the size of this room. I would say this room is pretty standard as far as sizes go. Uh, other lodges like we were at Columbian Lodge was a little larger than this, but uh, this lodge here is a uh, Really nice, you can tell they, they really keep a, a good care of it, but their, their kitchen is about the same size as their sitting area. They got plenty of room to have other brothers in here. So uh, if you get a chance, you're a Mason, come by for a meeting or other, some other order if they're having an event here, uh, come by and see them here at uh, Tifton Lodge. Beautiful place. Uh, look over here, here's something different. 
Not that the flag's anything different, but uh, they've got a piano in the corner. So they may actually have someone in the, in their lodge that plays piano. They may play it during their degree work. A lot of times in the corner, you got the Eastern Star logo there. So they probably have an Eastern Star chapter here. It looks like they have a, their Grand Commandery here. Their charter is here, so they'll, they'll have Grand Commandery here them now they might not have a shrine club here or they might not be doing york right here but they'll do other orders like well the commandery and some others in fact there's a there's your commandery uh the banner there that they have of course commandery is the one i mentioned before you must be a christian in order to be involved in that one um but they've got a lot of a lot of history uh also down the halls to the main door they've got the <music> Thank you.